Today, I'm going to be showing you how to create amazingly high converting video ads for your personalized print on demand stores, just like the ad you see on screen now. And this is the exact ad that I used to generate over a thousand dollars in revenue with a brand new personalized print on demand store. The first thing you are going to want to do is to generate some high quality images of your product. And the best way to do this, if you aren't good with photography, is to actually go and create some mock-ups. So for the Baby Grow product that I was selling, I just went and created some mock-ups using placeit.net. So I'll just go and show you how you can create some really amazing mock-ups that you can then use for your video ad creative. So if we just go to mock-ups over here, then what we can do is we can go to the mock-up generator. Now from here, you can go and search for any type of product that you are selling on your print-on-demand store. So if I just come over here, I can just go and type in baby grow and then if we just go and have a look for that we can go and see that there are hundreds of different mock-ups that you can go and use for your video ad so if I just go and click on this one for example and once you have chosen your mock-up all you then need to do is go and add your design so if I go to insert image and upload from device and then you can go and upload the design that you are selling on your print-on-demand store so then you can just go and crop it so this is a bit of trial and error so I recommend to make it a little bit smaller so that way it comes out really high quality on the mock-ups so now we can see we've got this here now if it doesn't look great what you can do is you can just go and resize it so if we click on resize I could just go and maybe drag it a bit higher I can always make it a bit smaller so like I said use a bit of trial and error to make sure that it looks exactly like the product that you are selling and just to make sure that the design stands out really well so you're going to want to create around four or five different mock-ups so you can see over here there's loads of different mock-ups that I could go and create for this baby grow so like I said I recommend go and create four or five different mock-ups and use the mock-ups where there's actual people in in the images because that's going to make the video look a lot more interactive when you create your ad so we'll leave a link in the description to place it it is $90 for the whole year or $15 per month but I totally think it's 100% worth it if you are running a print-on-demand store so that you can go and create these amazing mock-ups so once you've created your mock-ups all you need to do is just go and hit download and like I said just go and download around four to five different images so now that you have those mock-up images of your product the next thing you're going to do if you have a personalized print-on-demand store is to take a screen capture of your actual store where you can go and design the product so I'm just going to go and show you this store over here which is called doodle togs so what you're going to want to do is take a screen share of somebody actually designing the product so I use a software called OBS studio so you can see here it is so just go and download and install OBS studio and you're going to want to take a screen share of your website where somebody can actually go and personalize the product so you're going to want to go and just show this so let's just say we've got a screen share here you just going to want to capture the screen where you click design now and then you can just go and show how your product can be personalized so for example this product here we can just go and hit add text and then I can go and put your baby's name something like that so we're going to show a five second screen share of somebody actually designing the product and that makes a video ad really interactive and it really captures the customer's attention because it actually demonstrates to them how they can go and design the product on your website. Now one last thing that you are going to want to do is make sure that all of your mock-up images are 1080 by 1080 pixels. So when you actually download them from Placeit, they might be different pixel sizes. So you want them to be a square image because this is going to be best for when you create your video ad. So you can just head over to canva.com, go and create a custom dimensions canvas, 1080 by 1080 pixels. And then you can just go and upload the images that you downloaded from Placeit and just resize them so that they are 1080 by 1080 pixels. So go and do this for all of your mock-ups so then they are ready to use for the video ad so now you have your assets ready to go and create your video ad so we will be using a tool called in video to go and create this video ad and the reason that we're going to be using in video is because it's a super intuitive video editor and it's really easy to use even if you've never edited a video in your life you have over 4,000 video templates to choose from to create your ad and millions of stock footage and images to choose from from premium sources such as Shutterstock and iStock they do offer 24 7 live chat support if you're ever having any problems and they have a really amazing video community of over over 20k video creators and marketers so you can get feedback on your videos you can also add unlimited members to a single account 
So that way, if you have some team members working on your store, or if you're running your store with a business partner, you can both log in to your NVIDIA accounts and create video ads. So I will leave a link in the description to NVIDIA. It is completely free to sign up, but if you do want to get the premium version, you can use the code EP50 for 50% off. So from the NVIDIA homepage, all you need to do is click on sign up, enter in your name, your email, and choose a password, and then just click on create account. Once you have created your NVIDIA account, we can now go and create this amazing print on demand video ad. So you can go and choose your dimensions. So depending on where you plan on running your ads, you can go and choose your dimensions. So I'm gonna choose square because the ad I ran was for Facebook and for Instagram. But let's say you want to run your ads on YouTube or Pinterest or Snapchat, you can go and choose the applicable dimensions. Then you're just going to want to choose a blank canvas. So we're just gonna start from scratch because we're going to be using those assets that we just created to create this video ad. So just go and click on make a video. Once the in-video editor loads, you can just go and delete everything from the canvas so we start completely from scratch so I'm just gonna go and delete this caption and this logo placeholder now we're gonna go and create a new folder so we can go and upload all of our assets into that folder so click on create new folder and just name your folder appropriately once you have created your folder just click into your folder and now we're gonna go and upload all of the media that we want to use for our ad so I'm just gonna go and hit upload media and from here I'm gonna go and upload those four mock-ups that I created using place it and i'm also going to go and upload the video of the screen capture of my website where i show the customer how to actually go and personalize the product so we're just going to go and grab all of this and hit open so now we've uploaded those assets we can go and add those to our first scene so you're going to want to go and start with a striking image so i'm actually going to start with this image over here so we're just going to go and click on this and just drag it on and then we're just going to go and hit replace so now we can see we have this five second scene and it's just got this image over here now what we can go and do is we can just go and animate this so that it sort of zooms out and that way it's easier to capture an audience's attention so we're just going to go and hit animate over here and what we are going to do is we're going to go and choose in place and what we're going to go and do is we are going to go and choose zoom in so now if we just go and play this we can see that the image zooms in a little bit you don't want any of your scenes to be any longer than five seconds so you want to keep changing scenes every five seconds to keep your audience's attention so so now we've added that animation to the image, the next thing we can do is add a caption. So if you go to text, and from here you can go and choose from loads of different captions that you might want to use. So I'm gonna go for this classic style over here, and I'm just gonna scroll down, and I'm just gonna go and choose this basic one over here that says ideas live forever. So we're just gonna go and choose this caption, and then what we can do is we can just go and spin it around, and then I'm just gonna go and put it in the corner. So now you can just go and add some text that's relevant to your product. So I'm just gonna go and add a gift he'll never forget now you can go and resize these captions so i'm just going to go and stretch this out like this and like this and what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to resize the font as well so if we go to font size i'm just going to go and make it a little bit smaller so maybe something like 40 something like this as a matter of fact maybe let's go for 56 and then we can just go and squash it and bring it down a little bit more so that it's like this. So now just go and resize it so that it looks good. So you don't wanna take up too much of your canvas. So just make sure it's sort of in the corner like this. So now I've got a gift he'll never forget. Now I'm just gonna go and spin it around a little bit more just like that. So just think about the type of product you're selling and just think of a short punchy caption that you can add. So now we've created our first scene, we can go and create another scene. So all we need to do is just go and duplicate this scene. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and click duplicate scene and we're just gonna go and click yes. So now we've duplicated this scene, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna move the caption into the other corner. And this just helps to keep the audience's attention because the captions are coming from two sides of the screen. So what we can do is we can spin it the other way, right? Like this and then we can just go and move it into this corner so I'm just gonna go and spin it around a little bit more and now it's in this corner and now we can go and add a different caption and a different image so if we go back to our folders we can come into our folder now I'm gonna go and drag this image and I'm gonna go and hit replace so now we've got this second image as part of our video ad now what I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna go and add an arrow and the caption is just going to say personalize any name so you can see we've just got personalize any name here so now we can go and add an arrow shape so if you go down to shapes and I'm just gonna go and grab this arrow 
arrow and I'm just going to go and add this and I can spin this around to exactly where on the product they can actually personalize the name. So I want it just pointing to the name like this. I'm going to go and just resize this a little bit. So now we can see we've got personalize any name. So that looks really cool. Now, once again, I am going to duplicate this scene and the next scene we are going to add our screen capture of our actual website. So we're going to go and hit duplicate scene and we're going to hit yes. From here, we're going to go back to our folder and now I'm going to go and drag that screen capture of my website and then we're just going to hit replace. So now we're going to go and trim this footage of the screen capture of the website showing where they can actually personalize the name. So I want it here where it's just going and changing the name so you can see someone's actually typing it in and they actually then go and choose this blue heart. So I'm just going to go and start it from about here. So we can just go and drag this trimmer down and only want it to play for five seconds. So I'm just going to go and add five seconds to this. So this is 673. So I'm going to go and trim it out at 1173. Once you have finished trimming your footage, you can just go and hit done. So now we've got this footage of the screen capture where they can actually personalize this. Now I recommend just to drag it a little bit so you don't actually have the URL in there. That just makes it look not very nice. So I'm just going to drag it a little bit larger like this. So now we've got that footage of somebody actually personalizing the product. Now make sure that you just turn off any volume on this footage. So I'm just going to go to volume and just put this to mute so that we don't hear things like people clicking the mouse and things like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the first scene. So now I'm just going to go and hit duplicate again and hit yes and now I'm just going to drag this scene all the way to the end scene and finally we are just going to go and change this image once again so we can just go to folders and now I'm just going to go and drag this image onto here so we'll just go and drag this image on here and we just hit replace so now I'm finally just going to add a different caption so for this product I'm just going to say make it a father's day he'll never forget because it is a father's day print on demand product but once again whatever type of product you are selling just make sure you have a short punchy caption that really resonates with the audience. Finally, we are going to duplicate this scene for the last scene and the last scene is going to have our call to action. So this is where we actually prompt the audience to head over to our website and make the purchase. So we're going to hit duplicate scene again and just duplicate this scene. Now we're going to make this final scene a little bit longer because this is where, like I said, we're prompting the audience to head over to our website. So we're going to hit this pencil icon and we're just going to go and make this final scene nine seconds long and hit tick. Now, once again, I'm going to drag a different image on here and hit replace. And now what I'm going to do is with this caption, I'm just going to spin it around and I'm just going to add it to the center and now I'm just going to go and add something like order now in time for Father's Day. Now, depending on what the product is, if it's not a seasonal product like a Father's Day product, then you can just go and put head over to our website and get yours now. So you can see here, I've just put order now in time for Father's Day, June 20th, and then just the website name. Now, the reason this works really well with these types of holidays is because you are just adding scarcity to the product and you're just saying, make sure you order it now in time for that holiday. And this works really well with personalized print on demand products for different holidays throughout the year. The last thing that you're going to want to do is to add some music. So you can just come down here where it says edit, then just hit delete. Then if we go to NVIDIA's music library, you can go and choose from thousands of different tracks that you can use for your video ad. So make sure that you use some music that is relatable to your type of product. So this is mostly going to be aimed at parents. So I'm going to want to use some light hearted music as opposed to something like some death metal or some hip hop rap. So I've just typed in happy over here and I've just found this happy sunny days track that I think goes really well with the ad. So now we're just going to go and hit this plus button. Now, what you can also do is add some transitions to each of your scenes. So if you click on this over here, I recommend just to go and add some simple transitions. So I'm just going to add this film roll in left transition to all of my different scenes. So let's just go and hit play on our ad and see how it plays out.
So there you have it, an amazing video ad that you can start using to generate more sales with your print on demand stores. If you're looking for feedback on your videos, make sure to join the in video community. I will leave a link in the description. There's over 20,000 video creators and marketers that you can get feedback from. Also make sure to subscribe to the in video channel as well, because they've got loads of amazing tips on how to create better videos. So I will leave a link in the description to the in video channel as well. And if you want to see the results that I got from this video ad, make sure to check out my print on demand challenge video and also check out the full tutorial I have created on how to set up a print on demand store with Shopify from scratch. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more e-commerce and print on demand content. Give the video a big thumbs up if you did find value in the video and I'll see you in one of those next videos.